Today's National Hedgehog Day. So we decided we're going to use that as an excuse to talk about hedgehogs. So we all know what a hedgehog is and what they look like. These little nocturnal balls of spikes are an iconic British species. But how much do you really know about them? Hedgehogs belong to an order of mammals called the Ulipotifla, along with shrews and moles. And contrary to what their name might suggest, they have no relation to pigs. Aha, uh -huh. hedgehogs. Nice one, Alex. They have very large home ranges of up to 20 hectares, which is equivalent to about two and a half football pitches. And they'll often travel up to two kilometres in one night, rooting around for food and searching for mates. Unfortunately, they can't get that far with roads, fences and walls blocking the way. And this is becoming increasingly problematic with new housing and roads being built. However, you can help by leaving a small gap in your fence and providing a hedgehog house. And don't worry, these guys are fantastic for the garden as they eat snails and slugs and other insects that are going to be eating your plants. Hedgehogs are affected by many different pathogens, including lungworm, coccidiosis and ringworm. But by far the biggest threat to hedgehogs in the UK is the roads. Because unlike what Sega would have you believe, they're not that fast. And up to 335,000 hedgehog, hedgehogs die each year on the roads in the UK. At least that's what a study by Nottingham Trent University suggests. Speaking of Sonic, moving swiftly on. If you see a hedgehog stumbling around in the daytime or winter time, which is December to March, it probably isn't doing too well. So prepare a cardboard box lined with newspaper or a towel and wrap up a hot water bottle to put in the box as well. Then find some gardening gloves or another towel and gently pick up the hedgehog. When you do this, be careful because it will jerk when you touch it. This is a defense mechanism. So unless it's doing really badly, it will try and defend itself. Once you've picked it up and put it in the box, place the box in a quiet, dark place and make sure it's nice and warm for them as well. When you've done that, go and call your local rescue centre or the British Hedgehog Preservation Society and they'll tell you what to do and where to take the hedgehog. If you can't take it anywhere immediately, make sure you put some water and some dog or cat food in with the hedgehog. If you have a garden that you think is suitable for a hedgehog, why not contact your local wildlife rescue centre, as they are always looking for new places to release their rehabilitated hedgehogs. Now, worldwide, European hedgehogs may be classed as least concern, but here in the UK, they're classed as vulnerable. So every little thing we can do to help and every hedgehog saved is really important to help restore this iconic species. Thanks for joining us for today's hedgehog video. If you'd like some more content, check out Earth Code Red on YouTube, Twitter and Instagram, and we will catch you later.